I often get asked, how do you get your loved ones involved on your zero waste journey? How do you get them excited about the things you're doing? And I think the best way to do this is get them involved through your educational process of zero waste. So educate them, but in a really fun way. So have them learn with you and not just you kind of preaching and teaching to them. So in this video, I wanted to share with you a few books and movies that I have really enjoyed through my journey, but this does not even scratch the surface. There are so many amazing films and documentaries. In fact, I can't seem to remember half of them. Um, so if you have a film or a book or a resource that you really wanna recommend, let's leave them down in the comments and just have a really great source of information for anyone who's looking for it. My name is Manuela and I am the Girl Gone Green. I'm here to spread sustainability and conscious living. If you enjoyed this video, you can click that red subscribe button to get notified when I upload a new video. So starting off with books, if you are new to the zero waste movement and you are a total newbie and beginner, I would suggest reading The Zero Waste Home by Bea Johnson. I think it's a great book that kind of encompasses the whole idea um, and she has really good tips in there and just kind of gets you into that mindset. That being said, I do want to add a little bit of a disclaimer. I love Bea Johnson and everything she does, but after I started following her side of the movement, I became really obsessed with like the numbers game and like having it all fit in a jar and really focusing on the trash rather than the actual behaviors and ideas behind why I'm doing this. So just be careful. Um, definitely recommend the book if you haven't read it. But also remember that it's not about how little trash you produce, but rather a bigger circular economy. So the second book is Plastic Free. I think it's Plastic Free, How I Kicked My Plastic Habit, and it's by Beth Terry. Um, everything will be linked down below. And I love this book. It's so informational. She had so much amazing content about the science behind plastic, and I really just learned a lot from someone who didn't have any clue what, um, you know, this plastic was, it really taught me a lot, so I'm really glad I read it. Um, probably one of the best books on plastic that you can kind of understand not only how to do it, but also why. The last book I want to recommend is Garbology. This book is like the dictionary of garbage, I guess. It was just so interesting to read our past solutions of garbage and what we can do in the future, and then also how much trash we actually produce. Because if you've ever seen some of my talks, I always say 4.4 pounds of trash a day. It's actually somewhere close to like 7.5. Um, so that's insane, or is it 7.2? Something like that. Um, so it's a really good book, it's a really good read. It is technical, but it does go into a lot of stories that I had no idea about. So definitely really informational. Moving on to movies, I really recommend watching Cowspiracy, like I mentioned in my vegan story. Um, I think it's a great film and it really focuses on why you should reduce your meat consumption for the environment. I also really want to recommend Vice's documentary on the five gyres, like the big plastic, um, the, great, the Great Pacific, pla the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. So I think it's a great documentary. It's free here on YouTube. I really enjoyed watching this team from Vice go and actually learn about it. Uh, it's just really interesting to see how they did it and how they transformed their viewpoints. And then it's kind of left open-ended because you know, there is so much plastic in the ocean and there's really not one clear solution. So going off this plastic, uh, and the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. If you don't watch the Vice documentary, I also recommend the Plastic Paradise movie on the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. It's really interesting, I really recommend it. And then I also really wanna recommend to watch The True Cost, which will teach you about the true cost of your clothing, and it really was just an eye-opener about the fashion industry and fast fashion and just, you know, you know that clothes is bad, but I didn't realize how much goes into the fabrics and the dyes and just things that I had never once considered, I now think about a lot when I buy clothing. I think it's a really good film because it gives you a wider perspective. So those were just a few resources that I hope help you on your journey. Like I said, if you have an amazing film or movie, I know I'm missing a ton that I've watched and I've loved, I just can't seem to think of more. Um, so leave them down in the comments and we'll have a fun party in the comments. 
Okay, it's only day five, guys. It's only day five. Um, for now, don't forget to live sustainably and consciously, and I will see you in my next video.